So Dave, what was the purpose of the trip to Ukraine then? Um, it was a week-long trip. The purpose was to drive into Ukraine delivering aid and then with the empty vehicles we were bringing refugee families back from the Ukraine to live here in England. And you'd gone to make a documentary about it? We were a film crew, a small film crew, which accompanied the van drivers as they went over there. They took um, six or seven vehicles all operated by private van drivers, people who worked, who were truckers, people who worked in the logistics industry, were giving up their time and frankly their money as well to drive thousands and thousands of miles across um, to Eastern Europe to deliver aid where it was needed and to bring families back who were in desperate and dire straits. Um, having been into Ukraine, back here in York, we're on the walls today on a beautiful sunny day, um, the contrast must be quite startling. It is. Um, I mean, one of the things I've learned on this, I've, I've learned many things on this journey, but one of the things is I never want to find myself complaining again. We live in one of the most beautiful countries in the world, one of the safest countries in the world, and one of the richest countries in the world. And sometimes I think we just need to be reminded of that more frequently. One of the most emotional bits of the trip you were telling me was actually coming back with the families. We, we, uh, we brought one of the families back and uh, they needed to get on a train. Uh, in fact, we raced across most of Europe at speeds of up to 130 miles an hour. We were desperate to get back because we need... The government has issued them with rail passes, 48-hour rail passes. But we needed to use these before the rail strike started on Saturday morning. So we were desperate to cross Europe and get across the channel and get them onto a train before the rail strike started. When we got to the railway station, what really struck me was a little girl maybe six years old and she was clutching a little plastic bag with all her possessions in it she could barely get her arms around this bag but it was all she had and she was dropping things and she was struggling and she was running and she was racing and people were rushing past her and the train was desperate to get off everybody was impatient and this little girl was running amongst all the crowds of people and she was frightened she was determined she was excited and she was confused and that image will stay with me for the rest of my life. It, it was striking, but I think now she's living where hopefully she'll be peaceful and happy for when, as long as she needs to be and, um, and she's able to start a new life.